All right, so we are at a new location. I decided to spice things up a little bit. Um, just to keep it fresh for myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. If, if camera is picking this up, I mean, this is very typical. You gotta back all the way in there. Zebras, creepers. So we're gonna do some due diligence and actually check out this uh, ramp that's down below. Uh, just to kind of get you a perspective of where I am. So let's take a closer look at this uh, Kogan grass. There it is. Like, see how thick it is? One of the reasons why it's so bad and it's actually also very, very, oh my gosh, it's so sharp, not even funny. Um, it, just like when you touch it, and I know camera is not picking this up, but it's not saw grass, it's Kogan grass. Um, it has like little barb things on it, so it's going to be almost impossible for you not to cut yourself on it. So, heaven forbid you actually have to walk through it like with your shorts, uh, forget about that. So, uh, let's go check out this ramp. As much as I like kayaking, I kind of got tired a little bit of open spaces. So, I decided to spice this up a little bit. And, um, you know what? Should have grabbed my gimbal. I ended up getting myself another GoPro that's permanently attached to the truck. But, um... Uh, my gimbal is for the main GoPro, and I'm using a GoPro session. So no gimbal on this one. Oh, that's pretty nice. They have a turnout. Good. Good, good, good. Because I was going to back into this business. But as you can see, if you never mind the junk. Although... Um, it's a near darn impossible turn. Because to be, well, and plus, the, no, I don't like that. Never mind, I'll just back into it. Man, look at this shit. I mean, glass and tires and just absolutely disgusting. Mind you that this is private property, so this is like paying members that do this stuff. Yeah, there's no way, no way at all to turn here, so. Now, that being said, I think what I'll do is I'll just leave my truck here. And sort of put this off to the side somewhere. So I don't have to do this exercise twice. Hmm. Well, there it is, folks. Obviously, by the watercolor, you can see how uh, this is not the most pristine of places. But, I could hear birds. Multiple birds, multiple species. And the fact that you could actually get through all the little finger things, it would just spice things up just a little bit. And the ramp, I can see, is... Well, the ramp is easy, but it gets really deep over there. So. A couple of people asked me, why do I always squint in my videos? Um, believe it or not, I don't like wearing sunglasses. Uh, but this being Florida, it is very, very sunny. And that's the reason why I squint. Um, every now and then, you know, I wear glasses like so. 
That way I don't have to frown and squint at the same time. Uh, you know, if you ever see me in the video, like, one of the reasons why I don't show my face is because I never look happy, but I actually am happy. It's just the fact that when you squint, like, here's a good example. I'm uh, going up the ramp, right, and there's a sun in my eyes. With sunglasses, it's no big deal, right? But then you tend to do this, right? And the thing about wearing sunglasses, I actually wear glasses um, at work with some sort of reflective doohickey spray on them to prevent the glare and so my ears right about here and there get tired of wearing glasses period that's why I'm not particularly fond of using sunglasses There you go. Must be that season or something. For cicadas, they are everywhere. So if you can see, this is yet another dead end up ahead. But uh, this one differs. Uh, the previous dead end essentially abuts to this one. So. Uh, if the water is high enough, I'm guessing there's a connection between the two. But you could see how thick the trees are over there in the back. Oh man, kicking up all that crap. Well, let's just say that some roads should not be taken just because it exists. Behind me, this doesn't look so bad until you get in there and discover that there's about two feet of methane type um, gunk that you kick up. That and the fact that I picked up a hitchhiker, a nasty looking spider that I have to get rid of. But yeah, I uh, 
found a shortcut. Uh, there's actually a way to get here the long way, which I'm going to take out. But uh found the shortcut, didn't think anything of it. And as uh, things go, found myself in a bit of a pickle. Because uh, all that gunk that you have to go through, that is... Like, see it right over there? It doesn't look so bad from this angle. Until you get in places like this and you start kicking this up. With the pedals and all the horrible, nasty smell and muck everywhere. Not a pretty sight. So as much as I want to get into some places, I, I just... Might have to avoid them for time being. On and off in the background, you hear a very strong growl. And that growl is of an alligator establishing its territory. And I am hoping that I don't come across that alligator because he is already pissed off. Now guys, I just want to point this out to you, and I'm not full around either. I'm not like trying to over dramatize this, but there's like four alligators serenading one right around this corner up here. And I'm literally shivering. It's not that I'm afraid of the alligators, which I'm not. It's that, that when they're serenading like this, they are in a very agitated state of mind. And you 
definitely, out of all the times not to cross an alligator, you definitely don't want to cross him right about now. And in case you're wondering, I literally came right from there, right there, and that's where he is serenading. Right there, that's where he's at. Now, I don't know if he was up on a bank or something because I did not see him at all. He is somewhere between there and this bank, like on this side. And the other ones there are way off in the distance. But man, oh man, you have just heard several alligators. Just kind of letting each other know, yo, here I am. And that sound is bloody bone chilling. I mean, I've heard it on like Animal Planet and things, but never in person. Holy crap. Oof. Yeah, oof, oof, oof. I think this was the, like the first legitimate time I was just terrified. And so far, I've adopted a uh, bit of a pattern, so I don't perpetually keep getting myself into a bo You know what? GoPro keeps overheating. Pisses me off. It's just way too hot for it. Um, I put white, white duct tape on top of my camcorder, just not my GoPros. Um, but yeah, uh, what I do is I go around the corner and kind of look. If I start seeing open spaces, I uh, I get in there. If it kind of closes in on you, tend to avoid them. Oh, let me get my GoPro out of there. Man, it is hot. The GoPro is, I don't know, like 200 degrees hot. I'm gonna get it in shade, let it cool a little bit. But yeah, it is so hot for the cameras. So I ended up putting uh, white duct tape on the camcorder. And then with the GoPros, I just haven't got around to it. Every now and then you come across something that looks absolutely ridiculous but cool as hell at the same time. Take a look at this. How cool is that thing? 